Hey guys, welcome to Xbox All for One. On today's show, we've got a whole lobby full of guests from the Xbox Canada community. We'll test out the new Blitz mode in Halo Wars 2, we've got our very own game show with host AJ Fry, and as always, we'll show off some of your best content. That's later in the show. For now, if everybody's ready, let's hit start. Halo Wars 2 just launched with a new multiplayer mode called Blitz. It's a new twist in RTS gameplay that combines card-based strategy with explosive combat. We paired Green Skull up with a Halo Wars rookie to see what it's all about. If you don't know Blitz! Hi, I'm Green Skull and welcome to You Don't Know Blitz. This man does not know Blitz. I don't know Blitz. My name is Paul Hunter. I'm a gaming blogger and I'm a huge Xbox enthusiast. And you're going to get learned today on Halo Wars 2 Blitz mode. I hope so. The ending of Halo Wars 1 left the ship, the Spirit of Fire, just kind of lost. No one else knows where they went. And so this game picks up where they wake up and stuff is going down. You know, you're, you're used to fighting the Covenant. And this, this is different. These are brutes who are kind of broken off and they wanna, you know, you leave a hole somewhere, someone's gonna, someone's gonna fill it. Some evil is going to rise. Right. And these are guys are called the Banished. So we're gonna assemble a deck here. So go over to create new deck. You'll notice at the bottom of the card, there's those three symbols. If it's yellow, it's like, eh. You can have ones that are red, which they literally cannot hit those vehicles, like they're useless against them. Maybe uh, I'll try the Ironclad. Yes, hunters are, hunters are definitely good. You definitely want speedy units. You always want to have something that can heal, it's definitely a good call. And then you press B and you can save and exit and you have your deck made. Every leader has a deck already made. So right. if you want to just jump in, you can just play and like there's a very well-rounded deck to start with. They got high units, they got low units. So what's going to happen right off the bat is there's point A, point B, and point C. Okay. If you hold two points, you get, you, your score increases. If you have three, okay. your score will really increase. So he's gonna go in, you're about to have a fight. What you wanna do is if you hold left trigger, you'll pull up your cards. If you go to spike turret, press A, that drops him in on the field. That spike turret's an ability, so it will spawn with full health, but it is powerful. Incoming, ideally, oh no! So, so you just press uh, X uh, instead of A, which means you recycled the scarab, <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, which I'm cost five points, Yeah. Uh, and he's gone from the deck. We had the game winning play. Oh no. We had the game winning play. Why did I get rid of that? Uh, you card got rid of that. Yeah, so when you're holding up cards, you gotta make sure if you press X, that'll cycle and you'll go through your deck. You literally just like put it on the bottom of the deck. He won 200 to 9. It wasn't zero. You got nine points. That's pretty good. Nine. That's, no, that's that's, that's, a, that's, that's a good that's, start. That's, that's all right. All right, we can try another round. Well, let me try the Warthog. It's one of my favorite vehicles. So, and there you go. I would send him into C, actually, if I were you. So Cyclops are really, really powerful at picking up energy. They do a lot of damage, and they move fast enough that uh, they're useful to just kind of have waiting to pick up energy. Right. Is there is there certain spots in the map that, that it tends to spawn, yes. or, or is it just... Yeah, no, there are specific spots, but it's the order of which and when they spawn on those you don't know. Like leave the Cyclops there and hold A actually, and now send them back there. It's amazing how easy it is oh, to, to learn yeah. the controls well, for this. Like, a few things here and there, and then then you get it. Put a Warthog quickly, and then go look at A because we're gonna blow them up, and it's gonna be awesome. Yep. Uh, now, if you choose Archer Missile, just put it right on them. Uh, put it in, in front of your guys, right there, right yep. here. Now press A, and now aim it towards them with a left stick, and then press yep. A. Watch this. Boom! <laughs> you just destroyed like all of them. Powerful. You are done. You won the game. Oh, amazing! You've won. Yes, that is fantastic. Dude, that's awesome. Great coaching. No, you 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 took that guy down. That was awesome. Cool. So how do you how do you feel about Blitz? It's uh it's a lot of fun and really exciting and just you can learn the controls and learn how to how to win. Yeah. Very simply. Yeah. Which is good. Oh, no, that's awesome. Turns out he does know Blitz. <laughs> that was fun. Back to you, Marissa. We recently asked you for the origins of your gamer tags. You guys blew us away with over 500 responses. Here are a few of our favorites. Yeah, I know who it is. That guy who just sniped you? You know who it is. Kudos to your daughter for inspiring you. Sorry, daddy, sorry. Buckaroo Bro 4. Well, hey there, Buckaroo 1, 2, 3, and 4. Say hello to Buckaroo 5 and 6. Halo Ghost Pro. An original Spartan. Nice. How well do Xbox friends Dapper Tux and Next Gen Player really know each other? AJ Fry is about to find out in our new game show, Xbox Live Live. Thank you very much, Marissa. Thank you, everybody here. What a great live audience. I am AJ Fry, the host of the hottest new game show that's sweeping the nation, Xbox Live. 
live. All right, let's meet our contestants. On my right, we've got Dapper Tuck. Say hello. Hello, everyone. And on my left, we've got Next Gen Player. Hello. Hello. Now, Dapper, how long have you two been friends? Forever, it seems like we've known each other online, but this is our first time meeting in person. Mm. And Next Gen Player, are his eyes as sparkly as you imagine? Three even more so. All right, let's get to some questions to find out just how much you guys actually know each other. Dapper Tux, we're gonna find out what your all-time favorite game really is. I definitely have to go with Halo. Next Gen Player is Halo, Dapper Tux's all-time favorite game. Halo! All right, what a fantastic audience, huh? All right, let's get to another question. How would you describe your play style in one word? Definitely risky. Risky. Oh. Risky. Risky, I don't find him risky. I find him extremely <laughs> methodical. That's entirely the opposite of risky. <laughs> this is a great question for both of you. The question is, what is the first game you ever played together? Let's see the answers now. Gears of War 4. I forgot the four. I'm just going by full on franchise. Hold on a here. second, I need to consult with the judges. Judges. <laughs> All right, we can give it to you this time. Lucky those judges are there though. All right, moving on to our next question. Who would you be if you were any of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I would say definitely Raphael. Raphael, a man after my own heart. Raphael in red. And I went with Master Splinter. Master Splinter. Because as we play Gears of War together, you're always the calm, methodical type who sets everything out for us and gets us to go in there and kick some rear end. I'm humbled. I'm honored. Thank you. We're having a moment here, guys. There we go. <laughs> who would you say is the better gamer? I promise that I'm, I'm persistent but not good. So Persistent but not good, persistent. and you would? Agree! There we go. Good job, guys. It's now time to talk about gamer scores. Are you ready? Dapper Tux, what is your actual gamer score? Tell us now, don't reveal that. What is your real gamer score? Actual gamer score? Do I have to know like off the top of my head? Yes. I would say in the range of 160,000. What was your guess as to his gamer score? It's, it's pretty close, 153,000 and change. Wow, not bad. You get 153,000 points for that nearly correct answer. You've got a lot of catching up to do. All right, now, same question, but reversed. Why don't you reveal your accurate gamer score right now? Don't inflate it. I feel a little bit embarrassed because I know how high your score is, but mine is about 31,000. 31,000? 31, 31,000, okay. How are you the better gamer with the lower gamer score? I'm good at some games. Just don't play as many. But I don't play as many as Dapper Tux. And I All achievement right. hunt and play really sad games to get my gamer score up. You're one of those guys. One of those guys. I'm giving you 3,000 extra points <laughs> just for not being one of those guys. All right, let's see what your uh, prediction of his gamer score is. Did you get it right? Uh, wait. That's, that's it? That's kind of lower than what you said. Yeah, yeah, that's only half my actual gamer score. I don't judge people on gamer scores, though, so don't worry. Times two. Times two. Ooh, anyone feeling a little peckish right now? Time for a snack. What do you actually snack on when you game? Always eat cheesecake. Cheesecake. <laughs> Nothing that goes better than Gears of War than cheesecake. Mm. And what did you think Next Gen Player actually snacked on? Pizza. Pizza. Well, unfortunately, we've run out of time for Xbox Live Live. Well, it's too difficult to pick a winner. So you can share it. Thanks for watching Xbox Live Live, everyone. Back to you, Marissa. Thanks, AJ. I think we all learned something there. And that brings us to the interview of the month. Check it out. Donc, je m'appelle Damien Kiken et je suis le directeur de jeux en ligne euh, sur Fort Nord, responsable de features comme la progression, économie, customisation. So, what is Foreigner? Foreigner is an action melee game where you fight in a medieval world with knights, vikings, and samurai fighting against each other. A lot of studios were involved into Foreigner. In fact, we had three studios from Canada involved in Foreigner. So we have um, three factions uh, in Foreigner. The Knights are more here to protect their values, the sense of law and order, while the Vikings are fighting for their freedom and clan. The Samurai, there are only a few remaining, so they are fight for their survival. 
My uh, favorite faction are the Samurais. I always love their weapon style. One of my favorite characters of the game is from that faction, so all goes uh, for Samurai for me since the beginning. Each faction has different type of heroes. We have the assassins that are uh, better at dueling. We have the vanguard that are a bit like the jack of all trades of our heroes. We have the heavies that are uh, stronger on defense. And we have the hybrids that are mixes of, uh, of those genres. What is great with Foreigner is that you can play all activities with your friends. So you can play the story mode in co-op. And you can play against players, you can play against bots, you can play, uh, you can match make with other players, you can even do custom matches where you, you decide all the parameters you want. We have three regions in, in the world of Foreigner, uh, each belonging to one of the faction. And what is neat in Foreigner is that because of the faction war, a player will fight on different areas of the world, and this will define on which map they will play. Why the game releases on Valentine's Day? At first it was a joke internally and then it became a reality. It's a great game for Valentine's Day to be honest. It would be uh, way different from uh, your usual date at the restaurant. So it's something I, I would suggest uh, heavily. <laughs> <laughs> so the open beta starts the, the 9th of February and finishes the 12th. For us it's the last rehearsal to do uh, some minor tweaks uh, and be ready when we launch. Donc vous devez tous essayer For Honor, c'est un jeu nouveau, un jeu multijoueur où, où il y a une nouvelle manière de, de jouer qui est facile à comprendre au début mais qui est très profonde à la fin si vous y passez beaucoup de temps. Super jeu à jouer entre amis, vous devez vraiment essayer For Honor. That's our show. I'd like to thank AJ, Green Skull, Dapper Tux and Next Gen Player for being here today. We'll see you all at the after party. Until next time, keep playing together. Ciao. After party? How are, how are you guys getting there?